Hello everyone. Today we are going to be unboxing the newest brush set from Wayne Goss. I'm pretty excited about this. This is the Wayne Goss edit edition of brushes. Now, I am not on any PR list. Wayne Goss does not know who I am. So this is not one of those like you know, he has no idea I'm making this video, but I wanted to share it with you. I just got my box in today. Um, if you didn't know Wayne Goss products, you can find them on Beautylish. And I just got my box. And so I'm super excited to dive into this with you all. So if you're interested in that and you want to see what you would get if you got these brushes as well, um, let's dive into it. Also, I'm going to do this real quick. and I'm going to show you this. Hopefully it's going to come up on screen. This is the Beautylish site and the selection of Wayne Goss brushes. They are beautiful. They have these white hairs on them. These are all, um, so there's seven brushes, handmade, Japanese artisans, right? Um, they are beautiful. I think they're made out of uh, maple wood on the handle, right? And one thing that really caught my eye on this is that they have a lot of these with pointed tips, especially uh, it's kind of like calligraphy inspired, but very, very beautiful. And I just, I could not be more excited about it. So I wanted to share this with you. And also um, I have a previous brush set from Wayne Goss that I had purchased a little bit back and it looks like I'm trying to keep them in order. Okay. And excuse the, uh, the messiness on the foundation brush. I used it today. Okay. But this is a previous set from him. Oh, I'm having a hard time holding them up, but they look like this. They are so pretty, aren't they? Oh, and we're going to get into it. So I'm going to show you, um, cause I think it's sometimes nice in comparison, like the older brushes, um, in the different sizes versus the new ones. And one of the things that really attracted me to this set is that a lot of the brushes are a little bit, I don't know, hopefully you can see that are a little bit shorter and smaller in their size and circumference. Um, because I have smaller eyes. It's nice to sometimes have smaller brushes. And this actually kind of feels, ooh, come back. This also kind of feels like that as well. So I know that they said, especially if you have maybe hooded eyes or more mature eyes, that this is going to be a good set for you. So I definitely, I got on there and um, I purchased and then I, I freaked out a little because it said that it was going to be like, it was sold out. And then when I went back and I was still able to add it to a cart, I think they did a restock. But like I said, this is the older set. This is not the one that we're unboxing. You'll see the new one has the white handles, but I just wanted to show you in comparison as we go along um, what some of the older brushes look like. And if you want to see them side by side, we can do that. We also have the set, which is the eyebrow set which is a really good one. Hopefully it's going to focus. It's going to think about it. No, not today. Not today. This lens, man, sometimes it just doesn't do what you want. All right, but enough gabbering. Let's break into it. So, I have to say I'm always impressed with Beautylish as well. I did my first lucky bag this last year and I got a Charlotte Tilbury um, eyeshadow uh, palette in there. I also got an additional color of the Wayne Goss eye coal, which was awesome because it was a color I did not have. I bought the other. So I have the bronze and the, um, now it's kind of that eggplant purple and like the black. So I have the full set of that. And then I bought his entire lip gloss collection and then one lipstick and one lip liner because I couldn't afford the whole thing. And then he, he has these new like blush and uh, contour bronzer combos. And I really want to get one. I just, I'm so excited for him and so proud of him. And I even bought his first eyeshadow palette, not the blue one, but like the more topaz brown one. Um, Cause yeah, <laughs> I'm supposed to be on a low buy, but this is the box from Beautylish. Let's open this up here. And it came really fast too, actually. So that was nice. Uh, okay. I'm just gonna pop out the whole thing. So it looks like this and okay. here's the packaging inside. Need some ASMR. Okay, so I've got a receipt. I bought it myself, people. Some extra black paper. And then a little sample of a clarifying cleanse bar from Good Molecules. So there's that. All right, so this is the set. It packs up really small. How cute is this polka dot paper, though? It's really cute. All right, let's take a peek. 
I'm breaking to I feel so bad, but I'm breaking the seal. Breaking the seal. Getting in there. Oh my goodness. All right. So here they are. They're all wrapped in their own individual plastic. So let me just do this real quick. And as I'm doing that, I'll just tell you my, my love affair with Wayne Goss. I swear to goodness, it started years and years and years ago. I remember back when I started, uh, I was still doing, <laughs> I was still doing beauty videos on uh, Shelly Saves the Day. So my main channel before I broke away and did this beauty channel even. And um, I did this Jaclyn Hill versus Wayne Gosh brush, brush set. Um, but that was like the first time I had saved up. Um, holy crap, that's soft. Um, saved up my like money to buy like the whole set, which was this set, like I said. And um, wow, they're just, they're such good brushes. I feel like once you have some of these nice brushes and, and, and you, you know, like my eyes aren't going to get all scratchy or anything. It's just, it's hard to go back to some of these other brushes and it's nice. I mean, there are some nice brushes out there, but I just, I just feel like when you find really good ones, like you can just tell the difference. One thing that's kind of interesting about these kind of reminds me of the artist collection that he came out with a little bit ago. They had like these handles with these little hangers at the end. I don't know who's maybe hanging them on something, but you have the option um, if you wanted to do that. And these handles are actually kind of tapered to fit your finger, which is really nice. Okay, bring it back. This autofocus man is going to kill me. So back in the day, I started watching beauty tutorials. Wayne Goss was one of the first uh, ones that I just, I became obsessed with. I His calming voice and presence, he is so classy. He's just a wonderful brush. <laughs> Fresh breath, you know what I'm saying. Fresh, yeah. And I'm so excited, I can't even like concentrate or open these up. And uh, he was so different from a lot of the other people. He has a very calming presence about him. He's very, um, like, I always think of him as being like very sophisticated. The accent certainly doesn't like hurt. I could listen to that for hours. I mean, just phenomenal. Plus, he's such a good instructor, a good teacher. And he never tries to like talk down to anyone, even when he's kind of talking about things that he doesn't like as much. He's so kind about it. Like I don't hear people saying that they've had bad experiences with him or, you know, saying that, that he was ever rude to them or, you know, just anything like that. Like just class act is, all, you know, all I ever seem to. So it really pisses me off about that is it seems like and tell me if this is true for you guys as well it seems like sometimes when there are nice people in this world there are people hell-bent in this world as well to take advantage of nice people and i feel like that maybe kind of happened to well not maybe he spoke about it himself it did happen to him um, from some accounting stuff and everything like that and i saw that someone um, when he'd come online to finally talk about it which seemed unlike him because he's always seemingly kind of private as well. Um, someone had started a GoFundMe for him and then it got shut down. And I was really sad about that. I, I really wished it would stay open because there are a lot of people who maybe um, can't afford to buy an entire brush set or possibly um, brushes can't be sent to their country, you know, and they would certainly have given up a morning coffee or something to support him. And he just didn't want anyone to do that. And, um, that broke my heart because I feel like had that kept going and, and whatnot, like he would have really seen how much people like adore him. All right, here they are. I've done it. I don't, I don't say that they're in order, but this is the brushes and they are. Eek. Is it going to do it? Is it going to do it? Yeah, there we go. How beautiful are they? I always feel guilty because they're so like pristine and beautiful. Um, that I'm just gonna ruin them by putting makeup all over them. <laughs> so this is, let's go through, hopefully this is in order. All right, this is number one. And so you can see it's got fairly long bristles and then kind of a little pointy top. I don't know if you can kind of see that, hopefully. Choo -choo, choo -choo. I swear to goodness. So even though it's got kind of longer bristles and they're so soft, man, 
It's, a, it's still a little bit pointy. So I feel like you could come back, come back. I feel like I need the little thing to uh, keep doing that. Really good for powders, really good for, although they say all these can be used with like creams, powders, all that stuff. So I'm very excited about this. I just, I love the way that the handle looks. I think it just looks so classy. Um, this is going to be kind of, I guess, these would be your closest comparisons and they're not close at all. And I'll hold up the number two brush as well. So I know that this one is a little bit shorter and a little bit stubbier. Hopefully you can see that. I don't know, you guys, sometimes it just autofocus when it wants to. It just, there's no, there's no rhyme or reason to it. There's no rhyme or reason to it. There we go. So you can see that this guy is a short, fat, but angled kabuki with varying bristle sizes. This one is a pointy, longer tapered, uh, tapered brush. And this one is kind of a mix in between if this was like a flat. And then this guy is a little pointy powder brush um, closest to this one, but just like a lot smaller. So these two are from the new collection. These two are from a different collection. So hopefully you guys are seeing the size difference on that. All right. Um, I would say if anything else, I'm going to grab these three little guys and then I'm going to show you not the pointy one, but this, these are going to be, I guess, your closest in size and comparison. Okay. So that's kind of hopefully that it's doing that. So in this series, you've got the number four, which is significantly longer in the brush than most of the others. Uh, the longest one in the black set here is going to be the number three, and this is the number four comparison. So that is going to be those. And you can see how much pointier this tip is than this one, which is really fluffy and round. So hopefully you're seeing the difference there between the shape and size. Yeah. And then once you kind of come down in size a little bit, I guess we could compare it to this guy as well. We'll turn these around. So I'll just kind of show you those. So the white ones are the new edit set, like I said, and the black ones are from the previous set. So you can see all of the edit or the white bristled ones they're all quite pointy when it comes to their tip and all of the black ones are pretty fluffy and round. Now this one is also special. It's the number six on the old one because even though it is wide and fluffy, it's skinnier in the middle. You can see it's, it's skinny. <laughs> like I don't know how, how to do it. And then it fluffs out to the side. So um, hopefully, I don't know. I just wanted to share that with y'all and hopefully you enjoyed it. One thing I will say, I love these three tiny small brushes from the first set because like I said, I have tiny eyes. Come on, do it, do it. And these are so good for like lip liner, eyeliner, um, just perfect. And I know some people would be like, those are tiny. I freaking love the super tiny brushes. So that is what you get from the Beautylish and Wayne Goss. I say that, but it's, it's just where you end up purchasing it. And if you want to see, again, this is the seven brushes that you're going to get. These are handmade in uh, with a calligraphy-inspired design, handcrafted by master artisans in Japan, and they're uh, natural hair bristles, and so hopefully that won't irritate any sensitive skin. It says you can use it with liquid, creams, powders, and just wash occasionally with a gentle brush soap, lay flat, or hang to dry. And that could be handy because you got the little tassels on the end to do that. Um, let's see. So the hair type, for those who want to know, it's a goat, except for number seven, which is a blend of goat and PBT with maple wood handles. So these are available on Beautylish. It appears to be in stock right now. And you can see those were the uh, different tips. Those are the brushes. It's amazing how they just make their product photography. They look beautiful, right? But those are the brushes. Let me know down below if you've ever tried any of the Wayne Goss brushes. If you do, what's your favorite? 
I can't wait to use these. I think I'm going to do a get ready with me using all of these. I'm so excited to do it. And actually, I might do it with, um, sorry, since I have the old set, the older set and the eyebrow set, and now this new set, I'm going to do maybe a full face using Wayne Goss brushes. I think that'll be really, really fun. Ooh, I could even do with the eyeliner that I do have, the eyeshadow palette that I do have, the lip gloss that I do have. So that'll be great. I don't have the blushes. Like I said, I don't have the bronzer uh, and sculpting duos, but maybe I'll do a close to as full face as I can get with some Wayne Goss products. I think I will do that. Anyways, I hope you guys are having a great night. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I just want to share this with y'all. And uh, if you have never checked out Wayne Goss, which I'm sure you have, because I don't know why you'd come across my channel and not know who he is, because he's, if you're big into makeup, you probably have come across him once or twice. But um, if on the by weird chance that you haven't, go check out his channel. He is amazing and kind, and um, I love his videos. And yeah, so yes, let me know. And um, I'll talk to you all later. Thanks, everyone.